I made a mistake. So I understand that I said that I will film every single week and upload every Friday. Well, I made a mistake. So I tried to edit and upload on Friday and I had some video editing software issues. So I decided to push the video back to this week. So you guys didn't get a video last week. You guys only got like the little live stream. I am sorry for that. I know on the live stream I just said, hey, I'm going to be staying on schedule. I'm going to be posting on time. Well, it turns out I violated that rule immediately. I do apologize for that. Anyway, here's the video from this week. Hey guys, this is Amaya. Thank you guys so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be going over my Black Friday slash Christmas haul. Um, before we go, I am going to put a little disclaimer here. So my disclaimer is that this video is really not meant to encourage buying all of these palettes. That's not my intention. Uh, and I'm also not trying to encourage you to spend a lot of money uh, this Christmas season on makeup. Again, not my intention. I'm just weak and I love makeup, so I bought a little too many makeup palettes. Um, so that's me, that's my personal problem, and that's something that I had to live with. Um, and uh, in that vein, I'm really not trying to brag. Like, I'm not trying to brag about my collection. Um, so please don't take any implications of that from it. I'm just trying to share um, what's been going on. I just I'm just trying to share my thoughts on these palettes and hopefully if you're either on the fence or you don't know about these items this video is helpful so now that I've done the disclaimer we're gonna go right in so the first item I got from the Black Friday sale is this naked heat palette I got this first um, I think I got it like during that weekend like Friday Saturday Sunday that weekend um, and this came first this is a 12 shadow eyeshadow palette by Urban Decay it retails $54 and it was half price when I purchased it this is really a really pretty fall palette I think they're kind of muted um, orange colors that you can wear every day to school to work that kind of stuff without it being too vibrant However, if you're kind of under the impression that this is going to be like the warm palette or the vibrant palette, I say don't bother with this. Like if you want super vibrant colors, this is not for you. This is kind of more for like muted um, everyday girls. Next we have the BH Cosmetic Zodiac palette. This one is 25 shades. It has 12 baked eyeshadows. Um, that are shimmers as you can tell 12 baked eyeshadows and 12 matte eyeshadows in the middle there's one highlighter shade I really actually like this palette I didn't think I would because when it came out last year I didn't like the layout I didn't really like the um, packaging I didn't like the name of these and I'm one of those people who takes zodiacs way too seriously so I feel like none of these colors go with the signs which upset me a lot uh, but after seeing numerous really great reviews from YouTubers, I decided to pick this up from Ulta, and <laughs> I love it. I really love it. It's really nice. It's real nice, especially for the price. It retails for $24 at Ulta, but you can always get it for less. They do sales, do coupons, either at Ulta or at the BH Cosmetics website. It's really nice, you guys. Like, I didn't think it would be. Like, the mattes are really pigmented, they're really easy to work with, really easy to blend, and then these colors are really special. Like, they're not just, like, your natural colors, like, natural colors. You do have some of these brown colors, but you also have these beautiful purples, and I also really like this one. It's kind of like a camo color. These baked shadows are amazing. Like, these shadows are amazing. They are very pigmented and they last a long time even with glitter glue without glitter glue with a primer without a primer like 
no joke. When I first tried this palette, I was like, it was too early in the morning or something, and I was a little stupid. So I put nothing on my eyes. No primer, no concealer, no glitter glue, nothing, okay? And these shadows stayed on my eyelid all day. And I was incredibly impressed, like including the shimmers and the mattes. So I really love these. One thing that I've noticed about this palette is not necessarily a bad thing. It's just something that's different um, and it's worth noting is that these shimmer shades right here, the glitter is like chunkier than a lot of usual palettes. So that's something to know. I do notice like a little bit of texture on my lid. So if you're not into that, like if you like like really teeny tiny glitters that don't really show a lot of texture, then maybe reconsider purchasing this because I feel like the chunks of glitter is a little bit bigger than usual. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. One thing I don't really love, it's not, I hate it. It's not like I hate it, but um, this highlight shade right here, it's just not my cup of tea. I don't like white highlighters. I usually like kind of a warmer, bronzier highlight. And I just don't like this. Um, it's okay. It looks all right on the skin, but I just isn't. It's not my favorite. Like I can live without it. You know what I mean. And not to mention, it's so large and takes up so much space. I just don't know. I can totally live without this. And also, if this highlighter is already looking like a kind of funky on my skin, it I have suspicion on how this performs on darker people. Like if you're a darker person of color. How is this gonna work for you? I'm not I'm not really sure. So but all in all, this is a really beautiful palette. I definitely recommend it. I've used this a lot actually for a lot of my looks and they always turn out really really nice. So if you like these color scheme and you wanna try you wanna kinda wanna try new color combinations, then this really is for you. And it's only $24 and you can always get coupons or something. Next two palettes are from Colourpop. I didn't purchase these. These were a gift from my roommate uh, for Christmas. So the first palette is the Brown Sugar Palette. This one is 9 pan. Yes, 9 pan. $12 on Colourpop's website. It's very much a cool brown look. I really like this palette, which when I first saw it, I was like, like another one of these neutral palettes, another one of these boring browns. Like I am so sick of these. I am so done with these. I would never want these. And then I like saw some reviews on this and I was like, mm, maybe I'll give it a try. Like I put on my wish list and everything. The reason why I wanted it is because these are cool browns, which I don't usually have in my collection. Usually I like warm bronzy browns. Like I love that. Like bronze city, that's my aesthetic. But this one is definitely more cooler and I wanted to play with it and kind of explore new territories. Um, and my roommate, bless her kind soul, decided to purchase this for me. I think it's really nice. Like if you like cool browns and you need these colors in your collection, this is super nice. Like I'm wearing it on my eyes right now. It looks really nice. Um, I don't know what to say. You can definitely build it up to like a smokier look by deciding to go with kind of like a more natural look today. But it's really nice. Like I really like it. It's $12. It, you, you get a little mirror which is super cute. Like what what is there to not love about this? I definitely recommend it. Next is the Salvaje palette. This is a collaboration with Becky G, I think, and Colourpop. This one retails for $18. It is 12 shades. I have not dig into this. However, I have swatched a couple of shades from this and I, I really like it. Like, I, I understand that the trend this year has kind of been like neutrals with two pops of blue. That's been the trend that, that I've noticed. Um, but I really love this palette because it's spicy. Like a spicy warm palette. I love spicy warm palettes. Like I don't even know what to say. Um, my roommate, bless her soul again for getting me this. So far the pigmentation looks really nice. Um, but I haven't played with it enough to tell you guys a full review. Um, but I'm really excited to try this. It's really, really cute. 
Next is another BH Cosmetic palette. This is, it's my Ray Ray collection. This is a face and eye palette. This one is 21 color shadows, highlighter, and contour. And I believe this one retails for, you know what, I don't quite remember. I think it's $20, but I'll leave the price down below. Somehow, my research is bad, okay? I somehow left this palette out. Anyway, I bought this from BH Cosmetics website, and it was, they were doing like a 50% off sale or something like that, so I did get it for fairly cheap. So this is what you get. You get a six jade face palette. It has two highlighters. Well, yeah, two highlighters. No, I'm sorry. It has three highlighters. Wow, Janice, do some research. It has three highlighters and three contour, and they're kind of meant for like different skin tone, I believe. I really like the face palette, especially this shade right here. This one is ra ra radiant. Radiant. Okay, this one's called Radiant. It's really, really pretty. Very warm, um, very glowy. I think it's beautiful. Um, Mocha is nice too. Um, but the thing is that I feel like some of these shades just don't work for me. Like, for example, Moonlight and Chai is just like too light for me to use as a bronzer. It's like maybe I can use it as a base for my eyelid or something, but I just like don't see myself using it. And this one down here called French Toast, I don't really know how I'm supposed to be using that one because it seems a little too dark. And also, Brownie Bite seems a little dark for me too. So really, it realistically, oh shoot. Realistically, I can really only use these two colors in the middle, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. Like, it's not super expensive, so I'm not too worried. Now, this is the eyeshadow palette. This one has 15 shades, I think. 15 shades. It's really pretty. Very warm. Really nice. The pigmentation is nice. I have not tried it on my lid yet, so I'll let you guys know um, if I have other thoughts about it. But, yeah, that, I think this palette is really nice. Do I think it's worth the retail doll, uh, retail dollars? Do I think it's worth the retail price? I think so. I think it's 20, 20-ish 20 dollars online. Um, and if you get it on sale, definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. One thing I will mention about this palette that I don't really like is that the face palette and the eye palette, the way it attaches, is just really weird. Like when you do your makeup, it's like hanging all the way down here. I've seen YouTubers where they cut the face palette from the eye palette, which I think is actually really smart and I'm considering doing that, but I really don't want to unless I don't have to. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but that's like a packaging flaw and I just wish they would have done it slightly differently so it's a little bit easier to carry around instead of having this thing hanging out. The next palette I got also from Ulta is the Afrit palette by Juvia's Place. This one retails for $20 and you get 12 shades. Aren't they nice? Like they're really pretty. Like the minute this collection came out I was like, ooh, like it just seems like such a beautiful colorful palette with a bunch of really unique shades and I love the fact that these vibrant colors are mattes because I notice that oftentimes when it's like a vibrant color it's always some sort of shimmer or like they'll have like a sh like little bits of shimmer in it or it will be metallic and I'm just like I just want some sweet sweet mattes and these are some sweet sweet mattes believe me they're really really nice very pigmented I haven't tried this on my face yet there's so many palettes to look through, but I haven't tried this on my face yet, but it looks really nice and I'm really excited about it. And I will probably do a video on my Juvia's Place palettes and include this one as well, like a bigger, fuller review of it a little bit later. Now finally, this is the Feral palette by Menagerie Cosmetics. Um, this one is a 12 shadow palette. It's really pretty um, And it retails for $40, but right now it's on sale for $29.99 on their website This is an indie brand, so they don't carry in any retailers as of yet, but this is really pretty I love this so much um, You will notice that there is a missing shade here. So what happened is that when it first came I'm not really sure how this happened actually. It's very nicely packaged. It was wrapped in bubble wrap. 
it was in a box the box wasn't damaged but when I opened the palette this shade which is like a shimmery pink called Pathfinder was completely destroyed like it was completely broken um, thankfully Menagerie Cosmetics the owner Sam is very very nice and they responded back to me immediately when I sent an email to them and they basically said don't worry we'll send you another shade so it's in the mail it's on the way but this is really pretty I really really like this palette like even without this is really really pretty um my favorite shades from this palette are the greens these three here are gorgeous like they're super super pigmented super easy to work with super easy to blend love it so much there's a couple of shades that I'm like it's okay um, but it's not my favorite it's these three shades on the bottom I don't know why but like these mattes just don't blend as well as these two greens for some reason and I can't explain it to you like when you're blending it it's just not as smooth and I don't know I just don't. so like these three browns down here it's not my favorite shade but like all of the other shades are really pretty like the greens especially this red performs wonderfully and it's very lasting I did have it on my face all day yesterday and it's really nice it's really really nice and I am very happy that I bought this and I am looking forward to what other palettes that Menagerie Cosmetics comes out they do have one other palette it's called Dragon Child and it looks really beautiful too but honestly totally worth the buy like if you like this kind of color story which I'm a huge fan of like the olivey green browns with pops of bright colors like this then definitely go and get it because it's so worth every single penny it's so beautiful the only item I got in this haul that is not a eyeshadow palette is this NYX glitter glue I got it because a lot of people that I watch on YouTube uses this particular glitter glue and while I usually use primer with my eyeshadow I don't really use glitter glue so I decided to purchase this because it was 50% off and try it out so far I'm really loving it I think my shimmers look much nicer and last way longer than it used to be so I definitely would recommend picking this up if you like good shimmers and you want your shimmers to last a long time so that's everything I got from my haul this Christmas if there's anything from the haul that you would like to see a full review of, please leave a comment down below. If you have any questions about any of these items, leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to answer them. If you did not see my live stream last week, I'll put it up there for you. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe over here and I will see you guys next week.